In this video, we're in the Reflow config. We're in the settings section. We're gonna look at configuration backup. Configuration backup's really powerful. It allows you to save a state of your current user interface. So if I just simply click the create a new backup button, it alerts me that a configuration backup has been saved. And over here on the left, it's named it by the today's date and there's a timestamp. I can click into that and rename the backup, whatever I'd like. I'm gonna name this one demo. And I have a couple options here. I can download the backup, which downloads a JSON file of all the settings in, in your backup. And you can also delete a backup. It'll ask me, are you sure you wanna delete the backup? I'm just gonna say cancel here. To give you an idea of some of the power of the configuration backup, I'm gonna go in and make a few changes. I'm gonna change the title here to Niagara Mods. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the logo, click on that and just restore that to default. I'm also gonna come in here and swap out this hero background. So we'll browse for an image. Let's try this image here. and adjust the, the tint on it a little bit. Say okay. So now I'll go back into the configuration backup. I'll create a new backup. And so now I've saved the state of this interface. If I wanna restore a backup to where I previously was when we created this, I can just click the restore button. It'll ask me if I'm sure, I say okay. It was successful and now it's gonna reload the page. So now you can see we're back to what we had before. So this is a really nice way of going in here and being able to show a client a couple different looks. Um, whether it's just visually with you know the hero background or a version of, of a logo, um, you can see how that is really powerful to get client feedback and quickly show uh, a couple different looks to a client. Another um, area where this comes into play is, so Reflow, every setting that you make in the interface is saved in that JSON file that I was showing you. You can set up equipment types um, and really make Reflow reusable by, you know, if, if you have a certain template that your company likes to use, you can, you know, make all the settings exactly how you like them, your equipment types, everything, and then save that JSON file and then start with it um, fresh on a new Reflow install, and it'll save you a lot of time uh, configuring and setting up stuff.